Hello. Hello, 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 hello. All right. I think I have everything muted and whatnots. Whatnots. Hi, Sue. Hi, Judy Stalker. Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Dana. How is everybody doing? Hi, Brenda. Good morning, Nikki Hunter. Hi, Dawana. How are you? Let me have it. How's everybody? Hi, Trees. Hello. Ah. Uh. Our Troy boy, it might, I'm just going to warn y'all, he might have a meltdown, y'all. He just might have a meltdown. Hi, Sandy. So he couldn't find his phone. And I knew it was here. So right before I got into the shower today, I found the phone, miraculously. Don't know how. Um, and then within the last hour, he has misplaced it again. And y'all know how he is about his phone. So he could possibly get really, really irritated. Um, I don't know, Sue. I don't know. I can't do anything about the blurry. Hi, Sheila Teigen. Hi, Lynn Perkins. I don't know. So, I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. It's, hi, Nicole. It's not, um, so he can only connect to Wi-Fi, and I, I can't call it. There isn't, he doesn't have an actual number attached to it. Hi, Sandy. It looks fine to me, too. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, okay, so today we have a new project. Not blurry for you either. Good. All righty. Um, so I don't know if you guys. Hi, Diane. Good evening, Jill. You look okay on my screen. Perfect. Thank you. Jill, you, you got right when you get the hang of the time change. You're going <laughs> to you're going to time change and then everything is going to be combobulated again. Um, Hi, Joy. So I don't know if you guys remembered. Uh, this has been a little bit ago. Troy Troy and I uh, went and um, to do some thrifting, and we found this tray. And if you might remember, it had these hideous, like, grapes in this rinky-dinky handle that weighs not even, an, I don't know. It's so, it's so yucky. So, good evening, Kim. Hi, Lori. So, what I did, um, you are blurry to me. Sorry. I'm not sure you guys, some of you guys are saying that I'm blurry. Some of you guys are saying that I'm not, I'm not blurry. I've got full bars. Um, so, I'm sorry. I, I can't fix something that I, is not broken on my side. So, hi, Leona. So anyways, um, they had, it's a really beautiful tray, but they had uh, obviously drilled holes in it to put these lovely grapes in and whatnot. So I have put bonding primer on yesterday. I put, plugged the holes with clay. And then what I will do is as I'm going, I will end up uh, painting it over with um resin so that way those don't slip out of the holes um it's the book of bipolar faces yeah i know hi janine not blurry here that's what i'm saying i have my phone right here my phone's not blurry i can see on the stream that i use um i can see how many bars i have and i have full bars so i don't know Oh, my God, the weather is miserable. It's not cold, but very wet. Oh, my goodness. It's hot and sunny today. It's beautiful today. So, okay. So, anyhow, this is going to be the tray. And then, of course, I showed you all this beautiful paper yesterday. It's Paper Designs. And she is, you know, sitting on her, on her little, I guess it's like a... Oh, no. Maybe it's stone. 
I don't know. Anyways, little angel. Thank you. Hi, Diane. Thank you, Wendy. Um, so I will, uh, we're going to decoupage this on here and then we'll find out as we put this on here, what it looks like again. So I'll be completely transparent. There are holes here, 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 and here, and here, and here on both sides. So, but by the time we're done, um, I don't, I don't think you'll see the holes very much. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So anyways, let's get a base coat of the Waverly chalk paint. How can I help that? It won't go in. You're out of batteries here, son. And I don't think I have any of these over here, baby boy. Oh, you're in luck. I do. Hey, Angel Drusy. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Carrie. I ordered her. Can't wait to get her. Isn't she sweet? Okay, there you go, baby. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Waverly chalk paint. Again, I'm telling you guys, you, I, you guys are always really patient with me and Troy, but I know he's, he's going to not, he's going to go cuckoo a little bit right now because he, you know, everything is his phone. And so he's been walking back and forth. I try. I looked and I, I don't, I don't know. It's got to be buried underneath something. So. Hi, Jackie. Thank you. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Helen. Good evening, Kim. Um. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so we have a few people over on Terry's Crafty Creations. You absolutely uh, can stay there. There's, You're fine there. Um, you actually are able to use the chat bot over there. Uh, but if you're wondering where the other chat is, and most everyone is, they're over on Terry Light. See? So this print is 0177 from Paper Designs. It can be um, found at my TH Decor. And if you are over on Terry's Crafty Creations, it's exclamation THD. THD. Thomas Harry David. And then on my side, I do have links in the comments or in the description. Oh, thank you for the stars, Jesse. Hi, Deidre. How are you? We have a few Jackies. Hi, Cheryl. So just a little heads up. So tomorrow is the last day that I can take orders for the Bunny Box kit because they do need to go out in time to make it by next weekend. So if you haven't already signed up for the Bunny Box class and you're interested, um, please message me so I can get you the information you need to decide on if you want to take the class. It is a, uh, a live Zoom interactive class. The class is recorded for you to watch as many times as you know you like, whenever you like. So, and it will stay there. Um, for ever. As long as the book is here, it will be there. All right, so we've got one base coat down. I am going to put one more down just for good measure, but let's dry it a little bit first. So, hi, Sharon. Hi, Carol. Hi, Anya. How are you? Okay, Kim. I know she does a little bit, huh? Juicy. Hi, Miss Linda. Hi, Trina. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Absolutely. If you didn't get a mystery box yesterday um, and you didn't see Nicole and I doing um, the unboxing, I don't know that there's many left. Um, I meant to, Marcia, I meant to, uh, ask, but I, 
with the phone and everything else, I, I didn't remember. But so the mystery box has 10 A3 rice papers, one A4. A lot of those um, A3s are retired and are hard to get. So a couple of them, well, more than a couple of them are gems. Um, you're going to get some Finnebar, Finnebar paints and waxes um stamp transfers it is probably i will say it's my favorite box so far um i don't know how many more of these she will do i have a feeling this may be if not the last one close to the last so it's well over 120 dollar value um, so if you haven't gotten your mystery box, uh, and you're, you know, wanting it, I definitely would go check it out. Sue put in the link for the mystery box. Um, but yeah, please make sure when you do get yours though, that you post an unboxing. I love to see them when you, I love when you guys do that. The papers will all be the same. Everybody will get the same rice papers, but all the other stuff will be different. Ah, uh, I'm so happy to see you, though. Who will be it? Who will? Who all will be able to see the bunny class? Whoever has in the class, whoever has paid for the class, Carrie. So it's not a live, like, out to the public class. When I say live, I mean live with you and me. Like, you and, you know, we work at, I work at everybody's pace. Um, you know, we, we make sure everything is explained and everybody is happy with what's happening and the process of it. And then that, but it is recorded, so that way... You know, if somebody wants to make it again later or they're, they maybe something came up and they couldn't make, you know, the full day or something like that. It's it's always recorded. Yeah, you don't have to worry when I say live, I don't mean live to the public. OK, so let's get the edgings off of here. So I'm just going to use my water pen. Oh my goodness. So I don't know what is going on with this. I think it's kind of considered a townhouse. It's connected to another property, but it's up and down. Anyways, it's been vacant for, gosh, maybe two years at this point, but they keep going over there. The property management keeps going over there to do work on it. So I don't have, I, I'm wondering what happened when the last people left or if they're just remodeling it or what. But anyways, um, y'all know Nick works graveyard. And so he comes home and he's sitting at his desk in the room and I go, oh, how come you're awake? And he said, oh, you know, not no particular reason, just haven't gone to sleep yet. And then I realize it literally sounds like somebody has a jackhammer outside. It and it's nonstop. It's still going on right now. So hopefully he's going to be able to get some type of rest before he has to go back tonight because they have they're nonstop with that that noise, and it literally sounds like a jackhammer. Like they're demoing the whole inside or something. Yeah, he's asleep, but you know. You have you never sleep well when you have like that pounding noise and they're close. We're in the back. The room's in the back and they're doing work in the back because it's louder back there, of course, where he is. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Marianne. I'm good. How are you? <clears throat> so, yeah. So if you are interested in the bunny class, please um, reach out to me. Because for the class kit, I won't be able to take any more. Um, I mean, I can take them after tomorrow, but I can't guarantee that it will make the kit will make to make it to you in time. I mean, the class is recorded, so you could you know you could still 
you could still do it. But if you want, if you're wanting to work along with me in real time with your supplies, I need, um, I need to hear from you. No later than tomorrow. All right. Look how cute that's going to be. Julie, all of that information is in the chat, um, the class chat. So if you are interested, I can send you a link, but it's not something that I just put out in the public. Well, brown are the papers in the mystery box I bought last month. In it. Um, so it's decoupage queen. Most of them, I know at least five of them are decoupage queen. If not, and the other ones are paper designs. So they're amazing quality. Hi, Rennie. Thank you. Mm. All right. And I still, actually, I'm going to use my decoupage glue mat because I still, I forget to clean that thing out. And, um, but I will tip this up and use it for the top of her because I like it, but it is super matte, super, super matte. I know, isn't she precious? All right, so let's get this down. And as usual, we're just going to do a little bit at a time. So how has everybody been doing today? It's absolutely beautiful here in California. The sun is out. It's nice and warm. I'm going to make sure that it's straight. In the middle. In the middle. Thank you, Marcia. All right. So this is the decoupage glue ultra matte from Pentart. Oh my goodness, third graders. <laughs> Ooh, fun, Jill. Cold and rainy in Canada. I ordered TH Decor box yesterday and already got a notice in the mail. Yeah, they're really, really quick. Uh, really quick. It's it's not typical unless um, you know it's like release time or or something else. But it's not typical for you to wait longer than a day for your shipping confirmation. The um, the girls are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hi, Philomena. How are you? Thank you, Jackie Bates. Hi, Joanne from North Carolina. Ooh, 74, Maryland. I bet you, though, Lisa, is I bet you third grade. I bet that's a fun. I know. I remember my third grade. I I mean, elementary, of course, was always, you know, just fun and uh, those years, but we had the best time. Third and fourth grade, and then sixth was my third, fourth, and sixth. Um, his sixth grade, we went to science camp. I don't even know if they do that anymore. But... Prep for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Oh, that's right, <laughs> Sharon. That's right. I forgot. All that booze. <laughs> they were fun, but lo yes, they love to talk, right? Oh, come on. Really? I. What do you mean? I'm still here. What do you, what do you mean, Sue? 
Sue says I've crashed on Facebook. Uh, you trying to give me a nervous breakdown or what? It's, I'm still on my phone. All right, so I'm actually choosing to use the decoupage glue and matte. Um, decoupage varnish and glue matte. Just the This one is great, but it's super, super matte, and I just don't want to put that um, as my protectant on top of her. So I'm getting this all in the middle first. And then, as usual, I'm going to make sure that the, um, not on mine, I see in here, you fine. I, okay, yeah, I, my phone sits right next to me, and usually when that happens, the number drops down to zero, and it's, it's still fine. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to flick out, because I want the... The fray, I want that frayed edge to lay. Okay. I want it to lay flat. So I'm just going to keep. Hi, Miss Shauna. Thank you, Carol. I don't know if Sue was messing with me or if she was serious or what, but sometimes she sometimes I think she's messing with me. All right. Just going to take, make sure all of these edges are down. Okay, and then let's dry her. Hi, Dee Dee, how are you? All right, let's dry her. Hi, Lucia. <clears throat> no, um, I need to message her, Trace. Thank you, Deidre. Yeah, like I can, I can, I can see where everybody's at, and the number is fine. I can see everybody in all three places, so I'm not sure. I'm doing good. I know, Diane. Isn't she precious? She's precious. Precious, precious. So I do want to make sure I dry um, this really well, especially the edging, because I am going to take my gator and sand down those edges. Good morning, Jesse. I know. It's just such a sweet picture. So again, this is at my TH Decor link. So is the mystery box. So if you are interested, take a look at both of them. Um, you're fine on Facebook. How's your finger? How's your finger? It's good today. Actually. So yesterday, I ordered my groceries. And I kept saying, because I ordered them at like 530. And I kept saying, you just watch. They're going to come right before I have to leave to go pick up Trevor. And sure enough, at 7.20, they came, and I usually leave to pick up Trevor around 7.20. And so I'm rushing to put everything in the house, and there's a bag of ice. So I go shoving the bag of ice in the freezer. Hi, beautiful Tracy. How are you? No, it's a tray. It was a silver tray. I shoved the bag of ice in the freezer, and of course, bonk, 
I hit my finger nice and nice and hard. So the one thing that was good that happened from that though is it popped off all of the um, super glue barrier that I was telling you guys I was afraid to take off because I didn't want it to, you know, pull off any of what was the healing on that wound. So it knocked it off. So I just cleaned it and then put some um, ointment on there. And so actually it's fine. I just cover it because it is on my left hand. So I don't want to, you know, jam it into something else. But I have ointment on it, but I will let it um, air out, you know, after I'm done here. So all I'm doing here is I've just taken a 600 grit, a very, very, very fine grit, and I'm running my finger across because I don't want to feel any of those edges. So that way when we paint, we can't, we do not see the transition between the paper and the tray. So all you're doing is you're just rubbing your finger up and down. And as long as it feels smooth, you're good. If you do not have a fine grit, don't do it. Just leave it. Because you'll, you'll, you're going to tear up your paper. When you pour epoxy on your tray after all is finished, is there an indention in a spot? How can you correct it? I just poured a tray after it dried. It had two indentions with. <clears throat> uh, yeah, those are those little air pockets that I talked to you guys about that you have to be careful of. So it's really tricky, um, Brenda, on how to fix resin. Um, what you can do is sand those areas and you can sand the area and try to put um, epoxy back right in that area but I'm gonna tell you it's never it's not gonna even out unless you do a light pour over the entire thing in my I now I've poured a ton of resin um, I've just never found that it's easy to do a fix when you've got bubbles like that, that, you know, have missing epoxy. So you can sand that area and re, you know, try to apply um, a little bit of epoxy in that area, but it's, it's never, it's never the easiest thing. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Julie. How are you? Have you tried triple antibiotic ointment on your finger? It usually helps me. I actually have um, its prescription ointment from the hospital that I've had. So that's what I put on it along with the uh, super glue that day. <laughs> but it looks good. It really does. Uh, you can tell it's healing, but it does need air. So I do need to take the bandage off and, you know, let some air hit it. So I will do that. Last night after I shoved it into the ice, uh, the ice I was like, that probably was more painful than when I actually cut it. Um... So uh, I didn't have any time to check what happened under there. So I grabbed the box of Band-Aids, some scissors, and um, the ointment and took it with me. Scissors because, you know, I had put that bandage on. I, there was no way I was going to get it off. So, but it didn't, it didn't leak or anything. It was fine, so I actually just didn't mess with it until I got home. And then the whole, like I said, that whole <laughs> super glue and everything came off, which I'm actually glad that it did. So that way now it can, it can heal. Okay, so we have now a smooth surface all the way around. 
What do I feel there? So now we need to paint. And I'm wondering what color we're going to paint this beautiful, this beautiful gym. So just pour another batch on top of the whole tray. I use the heat to burst bubbles ding. Yes, but although you're using the heat, there's going, you really, really, really have to babysit it and you have to get your light and shine it left, right, and center. Because it is the clear epoxy, it's sometimes hard to see those little pockets. So um, you almost, you know, it's hard, especially if it's in the middle. I don't know. Unless somebody else has another way to do it, you you're you're you can try to put a little bit there. But what happens is, it's going to self level, and then you're going to see you know a little bit of it come out, and it just it, if if it's sitting right in the middle, I don't know how well that's going to look. Um, they said, they said not to clean it with hydrogen peroxide yesterday. So I'm not, I don't know. They told, they, everybody was saying yesterday, uh, not to do it with hydrogen peroxide. And I think Shelly was a nurse, right? So I'm, I don't know. I just said, I'll just clean it and put some ointment on it. And I don't want to get yelled at anymore. So I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm trying to think what color do we want to paint her? I almost, golly, she's pulling like a peachy pink color. So I think we're not going to fight the peachy pink and we're going to we're going to use some of that peachy pink. Did you find it, my love? No. Okay. Yeah. No, no, don't hydrogen peroxide. Okay, yeah, I I seen Shelly said that yesterday, so I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not having Shelly and Sue yell at me. I'm all good with the hydrogen peroxide. I just cleaned it. No, it was it's not infected. You can clearly tell that it's healing. It's nice and pink and yep. Okay, so I am going to take the compact powder. Um and we're going to mix compact powder and a little bit of ivory together. Now I will be painting the back, the underside of this as well as usual. First, I've heard about not to use hydrogen peroxide. They said not to use it after, um, okay, so now Jill is a surgeon, so hold on a minute. Only use hydrogen peroxide if very dirty wound. The bubbles lift the dirt. Don't use hydrogen peroxide on a clean healing wound. It kills off the new cells. Yep, that's what Shelly was saying yesterday. So I'm all good with that. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Miss Edie. Medic stopped using it about 10 years. Oh, really? Yeah. I seen Shelly was saying no, no, no yesterday. So when it did come off, I was like, yeah, it looked fine. It wasn't, it's not like it was, you know, wasn't purple or anything. It's, I can see that it's healing. So I just left it and then put some more ointment on it and then wrapped it. I actually let it, um, I let it air dry for a while. And then I, you know, put some ointment and whatnot on it. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Roxanne. You should only use hydrogen peroxide initial cleaning if it's done after you're killing the good cells to trying to heal. Oh, wow. See, everybody. Okay. Everybody's on that. Okay. I listened. I listened. Nicole, I listened. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually just mixing the compact powder and some ivory.
Okay. Yes, my dermatologist yells at me for using peroxide. I got a massive infection after putting peroxide on a piercing and was told it's because you're not supposed to use it on a healing wound. Isn't that? Yep. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm, I'm good. I don't want any infections. I am all good. I've already, you know, already had enough fun with lobbing off the finger and all. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're just using this combination of the compact powder and um, ivory, and we're just going to paint, use this as the base for the tray. I am going to take my dauber, and I'm going to spritz it. Just so I can. <laughs> it's not a thick tray. That's why you guys see me holding it down. It's not a thick tray at all. So I'm just using the dauber just to get closer to that paper and blend it in. That's going to drive me nuts. Probably going to drive you all nuts, too. Hi, Angie. Angie, are you so excited for today? So just a reminder, we were talking about this yesterday. Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks, our friend Angie, has her very, very first auction tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So, I would love it if we could all go over and show some support. So, if you're not following her, make sure you're following her. You're giving me a receipt? Is this my bill? What you charging me for? Huh? What you charging me for? Is that my bill? You're terrified. It's going to be okay. Hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Tammy. Have an amazing day that day. Thank you. Marvelous. Marvelous. So, Sue just put up Angie's page so y'all can find her. We are definitely, I'll be there. Me and Choi Choi will be there. We'll be on our way to get Trevor from work, but. So you'll be broadcasting in the car. <laughs> so Angie has her auction tonight. Nicole has an auction with Kathy D over at the Royal Funky Junk um, tomorrow. And then my auction is on Sunday. So we'll have some St. Patty's Day craziness, I'm sure. All right. I'm a little irritated about that up there. So apparently, did I not? Did I not sand up there? So if you guys can see here. The transition from that to the paper is smooth, but up here, I can see the paper a little bit. So I'm actually going to forgo from painting up there for a minute and paint all the rest. And then I'm going to come back up and get the sander back on there. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. I'll have a Guinness for you all. <laughs> New follower for um, Angie. Awesome, Tracy. Thank you. 
So Angie also does some printables. <clears throat> and um, I will be doing a project here soon with some of her printables. I'm excited to use them. I have um, the beautiful owls that she's done. So I'll be doing that with you guys. Probably the next project. So absolutely check out her, her printables as well. I have a link in my link tree, I think. Oh, no, I haven't put it in my link tree yet. I think um, Sue has it, though. And nice thing about printables, once you get them, once you purchase them, right, you have them and can reprint as many as you want. I also do have uh, rice paper in my Amazon store. I actually have the bigger size, the A3 size. I think I have the A4 too, but. Is that what I gave you, Sue? I don't think that's the one I gave you. I gave it to you the other day, the link to Angie's store. If not, I'll put it, I'll give it to you guys. I have to add her to my description so it'll always be there. Thank you, Mary. White gold and sparkling silver. Huh? Oh my gosh, Carrie. If you love owls, I will send you the link to the ones that I've gotten. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. I love them. And the colors, y'all know. Purple is my favorite color. I, it's hard for me to use it sometimes as far as like a paint, but on a rice paper, I could definitely do it. And as soon as I seen these, I was like, yep, I need these. All right. I was going to sand that back, but then I was thinking I'm going to put a trim. So... My fan is drying my paint faster than I can actually paint. It's kind of making me a little nutty. So I'm just going to, I will, like I said, paint the back of this, but I'm just going to come in. There's some little intricate details here. So please have what ready? This? This little girl? I can't see you, love bug. You got to come around the corner. You got another bill? I'm going to be broke. You keep billing me, sir. He even highlighted some areas. What the heck? Are you billing me until I find your phone? <laughs> Okay, so we have our base color down, but now I want to go over this with a different color. We need to bring in some highlights and dimensions. So I think Jill was talking to me, but I'm not sure about the sparkling silver. Jill, was that for me? Okay, there you go. That thank you, Angie. So that's my link um for you guys for Angie's store. Now you're riding my wave. <laughs> I need 
to remember, I will add Andy to the description. So that'll always be there. Um, just like the ones that are in there now. And then I'll also add her to my link tree. Because, you know, when she has them up, then you guys can. She, always, she puts new ones on there. All right, let's dry this and then. Oh, okay, okay. I looked in the couch. I looked, I pulled up the cushions. I, I kind of stuck my hand in. <laughs> All right. So again, I do want to trim her out in there, but I want to, I'm almost thinking, I pulled this out yesterday, but I didn't use it. I do have the peach chameleon. I think we're going to go over this with the peach chameleon and then... Put in some Umbra. For some dimension. And then we'll look at the, the highlights. Am I missing any? We'll get the, I'll get the back later. Because I'll paint all of this. But I just want to get all of. All right. Hi, Diana, just popping in. Oh, you got the grandkids. Oh, thanks, Angie. Yeah, it does. So that is um, an affiliate with um, Angie. But I told her I would be more than happy to support her, spreading the word about her just in general, because you guys, I say it all the time. I think it's super amazing to be able to start your own small business and we need to really support our small businesses because it's not easy doing that, y'all. It is not easy. Hi, Trish. How about the pudding cupboard? I didn't look in the pudding cupboard. But I will. So this is the chameleon pigment powder in peach. Yes, son, I hear you, but I don't see you. So I'm just going to, Papa's, I can't see you, love. You got to come around the corner. I don't think I have anything color-wise to match this angel. Oh, you could totally, you don't have to pick up the peaches. You can do any color. It's very neutral, Carrie. I know, Diana, right? Isn't she just such a cutie? So, of course, all the bottles that I didn't wash out yesterday, I'm deciding that I'm going to use them again today because, you know, why not? So, we're going to put some pigment fix in with our peach chameleon pigment. And this is just going to give that glow and shine. And then we're going to pick up our ombra that I absolutely love. And put in some dimension and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. Troy, Troy. Oh, maybe he went outside. Where are the dogs? Are they safe? <laughs> You're probably outside with him. Okay, look at that. Can you see that? There's just like that peachy, peachy reflect in there. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. You want a pencil? 
A stapler. You want a stapler. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got you. I got you. Stapler? Now are you stapling my veal? Ow. Ooh, wrong finger. Ooh. Owie, 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 owie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's take some of this and Oh my goodness. See? Can you Oh, yes, you can see that. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. I already know when I use those owls, Angie, I am going to use these chameleons because I have a chameleon blue too. It is going to look so cute with those owls. I know, right? Hi, Lynn. How's Holly girl? Mm. So I'm wondering, though, should we soft touch her or should we... Should we put soft touch on her or do we put the, um, Troy, chameleon varnish on her, the gold sparkle? Because we'll need to lay that down before I do any trim or anything to her. Are you reading it to me, baby? <laughs> He's pointing to it and reading it. I hope I find his phone, y'all. It was a miracle that I found it earlier. Cuggly muggly. I'm just using the rest of this because, like I told you guys, it doesn't keep. So, might as well just go around it one more time. Soft touch, soft touch, because she's so special. Holly girl's sweet as sugar. She's taking good care. Aw, I hope you're healing well, too. Thank you, Diane. All right. So let's dry this a little bit. You love the soft touch? You'll make her beautiful, whatever you do. I really, I think I really need her. Aww. You put it in there? Oh, goodness gracious. That lid doesn't stay on well, son. Here, let me help you. Okay, just don't squeeze it and grab it by the top, babe. Okay. So we'll put soft touch over her, and then I do want to, I don't know if you guys can see, there's, you know, there's a lot of little detail in there, too. So, oh, this ring is digging into my finger. So we're going to take some of the antiquing paste in Umbra. And... Torture is very talkative right now. Mm. 
move that down. Oh, actually, let's not in there. Okay. So we're just going to take and work it into our brush first. And I'm going to find a clean towel. And then, goodness gracious, let's go around here. Just so it really, see how it's going to sit into the recess parts? That's what I want it to do. You want me to write your name on that? Are you afraid Onyx is going to take your drink or something, something? Something, something? Mm. You want me to write your name on there? Is that what you're wanting, baby? Hold on a minute, baby. Oi, 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 oi. I have to go we'll watch Rest and Race play. Okay, Jesse, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm. There you mm -hmm. go. Is that your phone? You found it? Good job. Mm -hmm. That's a good job, son. Where did you find it? Mm -hmm. Is that the right one? That's the one. Mm -hmm. That's a good job, mm -hmm. bud. Mm -hmm. Is it dead? Is that why? He found his phone, y'all. But it's dead, so. Okay, Mama will charge it. I'm so happy you find your phone. Is that why you, you was yelling at me? You was telling me you find it? And then you was billing me because I didn't find it? You had to find it? I'm so happy, Joy Joy. It'll you know, charge in a little bit, okay? Mama got it on the fast charger. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see the difference in that now? Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. I texted my friend and showed her a picture mm -hmm. of this paper to her because she looks mm -hmm. a lot like the youngest child and agrees that this picture mm -hmm. doesn't remember resemble her. Joy, I did put your name on it, baby. It's right there. Your name is right there. Mm -hmm. Mm. Come on. I want to know where he found it at is what I want to know. Because I looked, y'all. I looked everywhere. I was picking up everything, moving everything, because he was in his closet changing his shirt. Oh, and also, <laughs> Troy has officially, um, he's officially knows the schedule now on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so when I got up this morning, at six o'clock this morning, you know, I'm always trying to creep around because I don't want to wake Troy up. And... I look in the bedroom, and it's still dark. You know, it's still dark. I can't see. And I just assume he's in there because I see, like, the lump in, you know, blankets. And Trevor goes, he's over there. And I said, he's over where? And he goes, he's in, he's in the living room. Mm -hmm. And I said, are you kidding me? He goes, nope. Nope. So I come out here and he's sitting on the couch mm. and I peek around the corner and he looks at me and he goes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me the biggest smile like you thought you were leaving me, didn't you, mom? <laughs> it's like, I can't believe you are over here. I why are you sitting in the dark. But he just, he looked at me and he just, <laughs> yes, he was. He was already, he was already 
ready to go and everything. He just didn't have his shoes on because, you know, he can't tie his shoes or anything. And so as soon as I was like, are you kidding me, Troy? Are you kidding me right now? So then he went, ah, that's his happy scream. And he ran into his room. He got the shoes. And I was like, good, cuggly, muggly. Good, cuggly, muggly. Yeah, Trevor said he's over there. And I go, well, over where? Because it was pitch dark in, in the living room. There was not n any light yet. No daylight yet. God bless you, son. He said he's in the living room. I said, what? Peek around the corner. Sure enough, he gives me a big old smile. All right, Troy. All right. Okay. See now how we have all that dimension is brought back. And now all I'm going to do is just work in a little bit of the and the gold, just a little. Not as much and not everywhere like I did the umbra. He was just waiting to make sure you didn't run out. I know. Yes, I know. See, perfect. I know. I know. But it was, I was, I just looked at him and I, I just shook my, <laughs> shook my head. I was like, here I am, come creeping up the room, being real quiet, you know. I look in his room. I'm like, okay, he's still asleep. Trevor looks at me and he goes, no, he's over there. <laughs> Great. So again, it's just little bits of gold. We are going to come. <laughs> and, you know, you can do... The umbra as much or as little as you like. I always say, you know, it's personal preference. All right. Okay. Thank you. He was, he, he was, he was not, yeah, fool me once. He was, that, I told you guys, I knew it. I knew as soon as I got caught that day that that was going to be one of the last days that he let me that I was going to leave that early in the morning. I already, I already knew. All right. So I do want to, um, before we do the, the soft touch and then we get the trim, I do want to pick up some of the little high points and I'm just going to look in at some of the new waxes that I have from Finn. I don't know. Okay, these are not going to work for what I'm looking for. Yeah, I already knew. I knew that day I was busted. I already knew that once he, once he seen. All right, now I'm wondering... Let's just take a little bit of gold on a fluffy. And I literally just want to take it on just the high points. How long? An hour? All right. Just the high points. So I'm hoping I want to use the owl paper from Angie and I, I am hoping to incorporate some of that glass that I got from Teresa's friend, Amanda. So we'll see because y'all I've never worked with that before. So we'll see how that turns out.
So wherever the brush is catching on the high points, and it's very, very little bits. Again, you know, you can go in a lot heavier if you wanted to. He is too smart. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. He is. I just, every time I think about that day, I just have to giggle because I was seriously coming, trying to act like I was walking the dogs and he already knew. He already knew. He's, he already knew the car was gone. He knew I wasn't just out walking the dogs. He knew I was, I left and the nerve to have left without him. I'm going to flick it a little bit on the outside. It does. Thank you, Joanne. It does. Like I said, I always, you know, at the end of the day, I think all of that stuff is so super cool that he, you know, he, he knows. He knows. He has the Troy, his own Troy Boy way. He makes his own adjustments, but man, I tell you what. He is a smart cookie. All right. So this is what we are looking at. You guys can even see it. It is. It's like, okay, you little turkey. But then at the end of the day, it's like, yep, that was really cool. Really cool. Okay, so now the only thing I want to figure out is I want to put a little trimming in there. And, oh, 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 goodness gracious. <clears throat> so, I almost wonder. I want to do something that is, you know, delicate to her. Because I, I feel like she's. That one is, so this one almost comes off with a little bit of iridescent. That's too much. Too much, too much. Let me put these out. Hi, Pamela. Thank you. Okay, so we're just trying to figure out, I want to put a little bit of trim in here. Because I want to show... Because there's a lots of pretty turns and swirls in there. But I'm thinking we need a little bit of gold. I'm thinking the gold, y'all. I have a rose gold, but I don't think that's going to look right in there. I These pearls, I think, are too big. The only other one would be the little bitty silver one. I don't think I want to bring silver in there because we just did gold. So, I don't know. I kind of, if I did the pearls... It would have to be, love the gold, good choice. Yeah, I'm thinking the gold because, I don't know, they think that's pulling too much silver. 
So now, though, I want to see how this is going to line up in here. Because I do not I don't like it needs to I want it to be at the trimmings of this of the paper. So it's gonna have to come up like that is do we like that? Tiny gold. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Little pearls around her neck. Okay, so this is the soft touch. So we are going to put some soft touch on her. We are going to soft touch her, I promise. <clears throat> this is the chameleon varnish in gold. So we are going to soft touch her, but we're not, we're going to put the chameleon varnish and gold on her wings. So I just have a pointy brush. And we are going to give her little wings some sparkle. I don't know if you can even see the sparkle. So I will show you. So you guys know the makeup of the chameleon varnish is only when the light hits in certain ways will you see the sparkle. So we're just making sure we're only in there. You're in love with it? I'm so happy. Just so her little wings are, her little gold wings. If you're ever using your chameleon varnish and you just feel like, wow, what's going on? I'm not getting, you know, much gold as I was. Just cover back up and shake it again. Especially if you're using it on a bigger piece. Oh, there you go. Wait. Ah, sugar. Can you see that? So her little wings are going to sparkle. Yay. I know. I know. They do. All right. So her little wings have just a little touch of sparkle. 
And then I'm going to come in with another. What was that? So this is the chameleon. I mean the chameleon. This is the soft touch. So we're only going to soft touch. Well, not only. We're going to soft touch everything else. But I'm just going to use a detailed brush just for a minute to get around her wings here. The soft touch will mattify it, so that's why I'm not just, you know, going over the whole thing. So I'm just going to take a little minute just to get around her wings. Hi, Sandy Triplet. Thank you. So we're just going to... Make sure we can get everything else. Okay, now we can come in with a bigger brush and get the rest of her. Hi, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Probably should have did this corner. <laughs> so everything else will be soft and then her wings will have a twinkle. And then I'll come around and do the gold border on. Thank you. I'm also making sure, right, that I'm only on the paper because I don't want to mattify any of that chameleon pigment that we did. And I'm assuming, unless she's put up in a um, little stand, I'm assuming she's going to get hung, whoever takes her. So I will put a sawtooth hanger on the back and a fix it, you know, put, re uh, put the sawtooth hanger on with resin. So that way, she's not heavy or anything, but just so that way that sawtooth doesn't come off. If you haven't ever used soft touch, it's so hard to explain, but it's just, it's amazing. What it does. So, here we go. Mail just came, new papers, glaze primer. Woo, and a squeegee, what? Hi, Teresa Cherry. Thank you, Diana. Okay, let's dry this. And then I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and put the trim on offline so that way you guys just aren't watching me, you know, be 7,000 and trim because that is oh so exciting. So I will go ahead and put the trim off offline. 
or tri trim on offline. And then I will take pictures, of course, and post it. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. So I will show you again. You can see her little reflect in the light. You guys are super close. <laughs> Sorry. So this is her. So no, it's not. It's a um. It's a. It was a metal trace, Yandy. Yeah, so, anyways, um, offline, what I'm going to do right now when we get off is I'm going to trim it with the um, little gold trim. I will paint the back the same thing. I'll do the um, compact powder and ivory, and then I will put the chameleon um, pigment and peach on it. And then I will do all of the antiquing and all of that to the back. So, I will take pictures of this, um, and then, like I said, I will add a sawtooth hanger. Unless she's going to go up in an easel, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll ask whoever gets her if they want if they want the sawtooth or if they want it for the easel or what. But anyhow, thank you, guys. I'm telling you, something has happened because now yesterday I finished a project, and today I finished a project, and I'm thinking maybe I should lob off the finger more often because I'm getting done, things done a lot quicker. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Hopefully, I'll see a lot of you over on Angie's page later. You want an easel? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see a lot of you over on Angie's page later. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place. And we will have happy mail tomorrow. Look, Monica. So, I will do the trim. I'll take pictures. Hopefully, you'll see it tomorrow morning. But thank you guys for being here. I always appreciate spending time with you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye.